Hello, everyone. This is Care. Tax effects have always been an important part in video creation, and today we will show you how to make a tax effect like this. Follow the tutorial step by step, and you will be able to do it. You can also apply the effects to your own videos. So if you are interested in this, keep watching the video. First, we open VideoPro Blogger. Well, if you haven't downloaded it, use the link in the description box down below to free download the software. To start, we need to make some squares pictures of letters. We click here and change your video ratio to 1 to 1. You can directly select this template. Then we click here to create a new text template. Choose a font you like. Then, fill in the first letter. Next, adjust the font size and the position of the text. You can find that the shadow appears by default. If you want to remove it, you can change it here. When we are done adjusting the text, click here to get a screenshot of the text. Next, let's move on to the other letters. If the position of the letter is not in the middle, we can adjust the position like this. Keep the text in the center of the image as much as possible. This will make it easier for us to do a subsequent layout. When we are done with the screenshots, import all the image into video Blogger. Now, let's click here to restore the scale of the project to its original state. Then drag the first letter to the timeline track. Adjust the size and position. You can also click here to use the guidelines to assist you with the layout. Once the position is set, we note down the scale ratio in the inspector. After that, we can fill in the ratio directly. Next, click on the motion. Here we will make the text appearance animation. We click here to create the first keyframe. We store the display window range. Then add a second keyframe at about 2 seconds. Change the speed mode to smooth speed down one. Then go back to the first keyframe. Move the window to the upper right corner and move it out of the screen. Let's play it and see the effect. Well, now we've got an effect that goes from the bottom left corner. If you want to create an effect that appears from the bottom right corner, just move the first keyframe to the top left corner. Let's preview the effect. Well, not bad. Now, let's create a second letter. We put an image on the overlay track. In the inspector, find a scale and enter the ratio we just loaded down. Then, adjust position of the image. We can see that the black background of the image blocks the first letter, so we'll just select the lighten in the blend. Alright, let's click on motion. All the other actions are the same as we did for the first letter. Let's see the result. Here, the second letter appears a little too late. Let's adjust it so it comes a little bit earlier. Well, that's better now. Next, we click here to create a new overlay track. Let's start creating letters that follow. I'm going to do the same thing as before, and I'm just going to finish it very quickly here. Now all the letters are done. Let's put them all on the overlay track. Put a video you want to use as background on the main track. 
If you don't need the guidelines anymore, you can click here to close them. Let's play it and see the result. Well, not bad. Finally, if you want to make the text stand out even more, we can import a solid color image, put it on the top overlay track, then adjust the position and the scale of the image, and go to motion. Similar to what we just did, we added two keyframes. The difference here is that we move the first keyframe out of the screen to the right. This way, we have a horizontal bar that goes to the left. Let's take a look at a preview. Well, now that. If the solid color does not blend well with the background, you can just modify the blend mode. For example, these two are some good options. Well, that's all for today's video. Be sure to click that subscribe button to subscribe channel if you haven't yet. And we'll see you soon in the next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye!